Okay, so there have been a few questions about the Bedrock Breaker, and initially I didn't want to make a video to kind of address what was left out of the original video, um, because I thought it would become irrelevant really quickly. This video still might become irrelevant really quickly, but that's fine, it's not the end of the world. For the time being, there are a few people who are probably building this up, and have some questions that I can maybe answer easier in a video like this. So the first thing, before we even get started, is if you're building up the three-way Bedrock Breaker shown in the previous video, don't build up that breaker, build up the one in the Lightmatic attached to the video. It's a slightly newer version and it uses a duper by Sarah from Hammertech. Um, it's a much more reliable duper, it aligns the TNT itself, it's uh, yeah, a lot nicer to use and it's simpler as well. So that's a lot better, but if you've downloaded the Lightmatics uh, since like a week since the original video, then you would have the latest version. Secondly, a question is um, how do you load the machine and can you load it with players moving? We found that actually after running it on Mechanus SMP, it was a lot more reliable once we used dynamic player loading. So instead of just putting players down and like having them load chunks of the machine constantly, we instead just used two players to load the machine. The first player is in the duper, so I'm going to go into spectator mode and then summon a carpet bot because we use carpet and it's just really the easiest way to get a solution for this. And then of course you want the player to be in the minecart, so there we go. So as you can see, uh, we are now loading a certain section of the machine, uh, but the issue is that the duper is approximately 2.6 times faster than the bedrock breaker itself. So for a large area, they'll become desynchronized, and then this player in the duper will no longer load the bedrock breaker, and that's just a bit of a problem. So we also need to place a player in the bedrock breaker. So if you do want to do this, you need to find this honey block here. It's just kind of in the middle of the machine and place a minecart on it. So in order to get a minecart on top of the sunny block, you can't place a rail on top, so you need to place a block, then a rail, then the minecart, and then destroy the block. And now you have a minecart just sitting neatly within the sunny block. And then you do the exact same thing as previous. Nice, so as you can see, now we have a bot sitting inside this minecart, and he will load the rest of the machine. Now there is a slight issue with this, uh, it doesn't work as far as I can tell on 10 render distance. I haven't tested this intensely. We use 16 render distance on Mechanus and it's worked perfectly fine. Uh, but when I tested it with 10 render distance, it didn't work. Cannot guarantee what render distance will work for you. Uh, and it'll also depend on the size of the area you're destroying with the machine. So if it's a smaller area, you don't have to worry as much about uh, your render distance. But yeah, uh, definitely always test it first. Test it with your render distance first. Uh, don't just hope that it'll work. And uh, yeah, you might have to use player loading or add an extra flying machine to the machine that will carry a bot alongside it if you want to do that. On Mechanist, we had a few failures of this machine, uh, probably about three or four that weren't player caused in the first uh, 200,000 or so blocks that were broken. But after changing to use this setup, uh, where we dynamically load the machine with a player in this minecart, it had no failures for the last 300,000 blocks. So I cannot guarantee that that fixes all the issues, but it definitely seemed to fix them for us. I hope it works for you, but I'm probably not going to spend any more time fixing this machine uh, for the time being as obviously working on better stuff. And now for probably the most frequently asked question, how do you start the machine? I guess I didn't think anybody needed to know that, uh, but if you are starting this machine, what you need to keep in mind is that this loop here controls the restarting of the machine. Uh, so when you pull this section forwards, it'll start the machine. And if you prevent this section from pulling forwards, it will prevent the machine from restarting after it comes back to the start. So to start the machine, you simply place a block here, uh, or update this piston any way you see fit, and that will start the machine. And it'll break almost immediately because we haven't put down the rest of the slabs, so that's fine. And to stop the machine, uh, what you need to do is put a redstone block here. That way, when this piston is pulled back and retracts this slime block, you'll pull this piston into this position here, and then this piston will become um, butted and it won't pull back. And then you can destroy the redstone block afterwards and you'll have the machine back in basically the same state uh, as it was when you initially set it up. All right, uh, so the video is effectively over. Uh, no more like informative content here, but uh, for those of you who are curious, this is the original better breaker, uh, one way, one wide, that the three way was eventually um, based off of. So this was the final version of the one way that I got to before I started working on making a three way. Uh, and it is a little bulky, uh, but it's much smaller than the one way that was shown in the, original, the first video on this channel. 
Um, so we can just start it like this. And as you can see, it looks kind of cool to watch. It has that um, weird three-directional uh, movement of most of the earlier one-way bed rock breakers that I worked on. And yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful, or at least not directly counterproductive. Uh, have a nice day.